Hey friends, now that we've finished Hungry Lamu, here's its sequel, Sea Mongrel. Like we talked about before, this is a horror game that takes place inside of an aquarium. The first thing I'm wondering is, how is the story of this game going to mesh with Hungry Lamu? Does it simply just reference that game, or is it an actual sequel? I'm also kind of curious, do you guys like aquariums? They are some of my absolute favorite places to go. I have fond memories of going to aquariums with my parents and for school trips and stuff like that. For some reason, I've always just been captivated by the ocean. The idea that we understand more about space than we do about our own oceans is like terrifyingly fascinating to me. It's also interesting to me to see how these creatures have adapted to the various conditions of different depths of the ocean. Like, life exists all the way at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Challenger Deep, they call it. The most brutal, high-pressure conditions imaginable, and yet, life exists. It's remarkable, and sometimes I listen to documentaries about the ocean when I'm working and stuff like that. In middle school, I remember a game called Endless Ocean for the Nintendo Wii made me want to become a marine biologist. It's like I couldn't learn enough about the ocean. I don't know. How do you guys feel about aquariums and our oceans in general? Just a random talking point of the day, I guess. With that being said, here is Sea Mongrel. Here we are. Oh my goodness, I love this art style. I can't believe you forgot our second anniversary. Okay, so Kim and I are dating. Or Kim and the other character. Okay, Theo, it's a named character. Kim and Theo are dating. What the? I told you I didn't forget. You were the one that told me we didn't need some big celebration for our anniversaries. Yeah, we didn't need some big celebration, but a little date to commemorate it would have been nice. Okay, and that's what we're having right now. Why are you making such a big fuss about it? Because this was obviously such a last minute thing. If I didn't even ask you what we were doing, I bet you would have just gone for your, gone for your martial arts class. This is why communication is so important, you know? You never want to assume that your partner knows what's going on or that they are to just understand something that wasn't directly communicated to them. When in doubt, communication. You say you love me, but sometimes you don't act like it. I do. Yeah, whatever. Well, not a good start to the date. A game by Kulu. I love that background with music by Tabby. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this artistic direction here. That orange glow of the city. I wish we had more public transportation in my area. Damn it. What? Pins and needles. Walk it off, remember? I know how to walk, Kim. They're teaching us how to, how to play the game. Yeah, but you always forget. Enter to open the menu. Okay. Right in the fourth wall. Hey, aquarium's the other way. Party. And we have health bars and magic bars? Is this a JRPG? Restores 50 stamina, patches up small boo-boos. No way. It is a JRPG. Okay. Good to know. This is so different than Hungry Lamu. We picked up a plastic bag. Oh, look at our little walking animation. This isn't the way into the aquarium. All right, so just like Hungry Lamu, they will. Look at the production value of this game. Uh, compared to the last one. I mean, look, I enjoyed Hungry Lamu, but this is a big step up. Hey, what you got there? What, just some spare drinks from today. You can have them, was gonna throw them out anyway or whatever. Sweet! Are you serious? We're not beggars, Theo. What? Free drinks are free. You're so gross. Received five soft drinks. She carrying like a... a case on. This is impressive. Sorry, bud, we're all out. Completely out. 
This is the Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. Did you enjoy yourself, Zoe? I did, Mama. I got to see so many cool fishies. My favorite was the water worm. That's great, dear. Let's head home. Okay, Mama. They look like they had fun. Bandage roll. So there's no run button, which is fine. Ouch, got myself a nasty cut here. Y'all got a spare bandage roll I can use? Ah, sweet. Thanks, guys. Was saving this for my workout later, but y'all can have it. Smelling salts. Okay. So if you're not... Okay, yeah, we don't want to go to merch yet. Smelling salts are used to... They have various purposes, but in the weight room, they're used to, uh, like, spike your adrenaline through the roof before a big lift. Get, like, you know, really wake you up and get super hyped. I'm afraid to try them. Good evening. Two tickets for our lovely couple here. Do note, we're closing in about 30 minutes. Enjoy your visit at Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. Okay, 30 minutes is not enough time to see a whole aquarium unless you're really, really, really rushing and it's not a very big aquarium. And you don't want to read anything, which is like... One of the reasons I love to go there, I love to read the um, the plaques that they have uh, next to the, each exhibit. What did that guy put in the food today? My stomach is not agreeing with it at all. Just 10 more minutes, Brad, you can hold it. All right, well, thank you for letting us know, Brad. When duty calls, Brad, he might just need to take a quick bathroom break. Oh, look at this. This is actually cool. It's a, it's a legit aquarium that we can walk through. Oh, its mouth is huge. Probably why it's so fat. Just like you. What? It was just a joke. Well, it wasn't very funny. Jeez, we can't take jokes anymore? It wasn't even a joke. It was just rude. And I've told you that I don't like it when you joke about that. Fine. Sorry, I guess. Yeah, they're, they're, uh... They're on edge right now. This must be a trout. Oh, yeah. I suddenly feel like eating sushi. So mean, right in front of Miss Fishy. Yeah, don't talk about that right in front of the fish. It's Narlin and Bori from Finding Nemo. <laughs> Finding Nemo. <laughs> They're so pretty. I guess Nemo got lost again. Or maybe they replaced him with this prettier redfish. That's just cold. This is so cool. They've put so much work into... You know, getting these exhibits working and having all this dialogue. I love it. When encountering a threat, a largemouth bass has four choices. Fight, guard, bag, and run. Fighting allows the largemouth bass to choose a move to inflict damage onto the threat. Some of its attacks apply status effects like a chance of causing bleed or stun. What? Some moves are solely used to inflict status effects on the threat, but tend to have lower accuracy. Largemouth bass depend highly on their stamina. All of their moves require stamina to carry out. Are we fighting with fish? Is this like Pokemon? If a largemouth bass has insufficient stamina, guarding will allow them to regain a certain amount. Choosing to guard instead of attacking is a strategic decision that could benefit the largemouth bass in the long run. This does not sound like a bass at all. Well, what do we know? What do we know? What the hell? The largemouth bass is an option of bag, which allows it to use items it has. Different items have different effects in times of extreme danger. The largemouth bass must use its most valuable item to ensure survival. However, items are limited, and the largemouth bass must choose wisely on which items it should use. Running is also an option that the largemouth bass has. Are they talking about us? And not actually a largemouth bass. However, when pitted up against a big threat, it is unlikely that the largemouth bass would even be able to escape. You can't run from boss fights. Bass with a bag? Okay, that definitely doesn't seem right. And since when were you a fish expert? Good point. But this is strange. Largemouth bass are common river fish. They love to feed on smaller fishes like the bait fish. Uh, opportunistic apex predators. Fat fish. Okay, I am intrigued. I guess that's kind of a tutorial adjacent, explaining the game mechanics. The Sea Habitat Aquarium is our largest tank here at, e at Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. It houses several types of marine life like fishes and coral. All the marine life in the tank support one another, creating a miniature ecosystem within the tank. 
Sounds sick. Let's go check it out. Okay, so here's their largest exhibit. Oh, wow. That's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Sorry for not planning anything for our second anniversary. It's okay. All that matters is that we're together now. Yeah. Come on, let's see everything else before the place closes. Okay. That is really beautiful. I think that's a... I believe that's a whale shark up top because the spots. Uh, I think that's a great white stingray. Up top is probably a grouper. And some of the fish we saw earlier. Maybe one of those is a large mouth... Or a, a trout and a large mouth bass, maybe? I'm not sure. That actually startled the hell out of me. What the? Huh? Did they close already? We weren't even here for 15 minutes. Maybe they forgot to tell us they were closing early. Guess we should get out of here. Well, the guy at the front did say 10 minutes. Sorry, Kim. What else can we do anyway? Oh, what's that sound? Sounds like someone's coming. Must be an employee coming to fetch us out or something. Oh my god. Hey dude, don't worry, we are just about to leave. Is everything okay? We're not looking for trouble. We didn't know you guys closed early today. A largemouth bass charges at you. Why does that largemouth bass have a mustache? Wait a minute. Hold on. I just got a, a big theory. In the first game, Lamu was created by the father who was a genetic scientist that figured out how, figured out how to combine animal DNA with human DNA and perform that experiment on his son. Performed the experiment on his son. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. The son slowly started to turn into this llama human hybrid that you know was starting to confuse people or telling itself that people were fruit so it could eat them because it needed meat but also just thought llamas ate fruits anyways that's not the important part the important part is what if this aquarium that looks like a human face on that largemouth bass what if this aquarium the creatures inside used that same research from the father in Hungry Lamu, and they're doing those experiments on the fish and the and the marine life. That's the theory I'm going with. That's how I feel the games are connected. Um, we're going to fight. I guess we can jab. What is Kim going to do? We'll fight as well. Whack. Oh, there's little animations. This is so impressive. So impressive. Largemouth bass use headbutt. Minus four. How much health does this have? We've done 12 damage. Manic cry. Theo's attack fell. I mean, we should still just attack here. This is, okay, fallen. So it has either 15 or 16, or I'm sorry. 15 or 16 health, something like that. What the hell was that? Theo, say something. I don't know. Is it a mascot or something? Its scales felt real when I punched it, and it attacked us. Yeah, is it dead? I don't know. Let's just get out of here right now. I thought the same thing. Okay, so this is a straight up... Horror JRPG. What do you guys think about my theory? I'm taking this fire axe just in case. Just be careful with it, all right? I can handle myself, thank you very much. Kim learned something new. Swift swing. Okay. We might want to check for items. White glove. Um, I want to see... Slaps them awake. Revise 50% of HP. Okay, so... Attacking does take stamina? In general? 
But we have plenty of soft drinks. I actually think we should probably use them. Wow. Okay. Looks like we need to use a few here. Um... Should we? Yeah. Okay, that's that's fine for now. That's fine for now. Let's check the other bathroom. I feel like items are going to be basically invaluable. I don't even... Oh, there's someone here. And two items. Picked up gauze. Good, good. Healing. Please don't hurt me. Uh, chill. We're just normal people. Oh, thank God. You okay? No, I'm not. Me and my sweet boyfriend just wanted to celebrate our first... First month, sorry. It was supposed to be a simple fun day to the aquarium. He even told me he had a surprise for me. Then the lights went out and we ran into this terrifying fish thing. Looks like we weren't the only ones. Well, where's your boyfriend now? We hid for a while until he told me he was going to get help. He should be coming back for me soon. I would not stay here. I'm going to be honest. Okay, just repeats the dialogue option. Stay safe. I don't recommend staying there, but maybe the fish can't open doors. I don't know. Okay, so we do need to be on the lookout for items. The tunnel tank is one of the longest tanks of the Ecosystem Adventure Park. It houses multiple marine life from corals to small fish, but it specializes in various species of sharks, such as the hammerhead. Should we really still be reading these signboards when we're potentially in danger of encountering evil mutated fish? Maybe some of these could have information useful for us against them. Besides, we paid for the tickets. Might as well make them worth the price. I think we're having a pretty priceless experience right about now. Agreed. Oh, man. I love this game. Oh, this is... Oh, man, I'm smiling ear to ear. I can feel it. This is like exactly what I look for. This is amazing. And what an amazing concept and, and even more amazing execution. Oh, God. Is that... It's too dark to see, but the smell gives it away. We have to get out of here, Theo. That is a dead body. And notice... The head is missing. Only the head is missing. Just like Hungry Lamu. Would only eat the heads of the victims. I am so convinced of my theory. Let me know if you guys think I'm crazy or if you agree with me. I always like to see, like, where you guys are, too. Um, like, when you make a comment during the video and be like, oh, this is what I think is going to happen, and then you edit it and say, oh, this happened, kind of thing. This control panel looks like it could open up shuttle door. It's missing a fuse. Okay, white glove, and I imagine... What the hell am I doing with my life? Why am I of all these people eating lunch alone in this room? Brad thinks he knows everything, always targeting me. He knows I'm better than him. He's intimidated. Seb, that goddamn pea brain, all he thinks about is his workout. Everyone knows intellect beats all. So this is an employee. Seb, we saw earlier, he gave us um, the smelling salts. That Jen is so bloody annoying. She thinks she's got everyone at the tip of her fingers asking me to do her work for her. Sally is too kind. She's not going... To go far in the real world, it's blue text over blue background. A little tricky for me to read. And that Demi, her lack of interest in anything pisses me off. I was a goddamn scientist. Me and my mentor were so close to a breakthrough. If we only had more time. How the hell did I go from experimenting with chemicals to serving disgusting snacks and beverages? They'll all get what they deserve. Who wrote this? Used to be a scientist. Who wrote that? Picked up a fuse. Awesome. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. Let's get this fuse going. Fuse fits. Shuttle door should be open now. Let's go. Wait, Theo. There's a switch here for emergency lights. It would be nice to see again. Flick it. My heart dropped into my stomach.
This game is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Aim right for the chin. Low chance to inflict sleep on target. Uh, 10 stamina. Let's go for it. Kim. 10 stamina. Move one big swing to the target. Dealing moderate damage. High chance to inflict bleed. I wonder if we can inflict two status effects at once. Theo's defense spell fell and speed fell. Uppercut. No sleep. Bleed. Good. I think for now... I'll jab. Since we've already inflicted bleed. Right now he's just using status affecting moves. Okay, bleed's gone. Vital grip. Theo has fallen. Kim used whack on the hammerhead shark. Can I revive him? Oh, thank God the smelling salts worked. Vital grip. Why did he do 14 damage to... I really need to try to put him asleep. Okay, these these fights are actually no joke. Um, they're not just a walk in the park. Let me let me figure this out. Okay, items are used immediately. You don't have to wait for your turn. The shark missed. Uppercut. Put to sleep. Damn. Um. Try again with the vital grip on Kim. Oh, it's only doing five damage. Oh, I'm stunned. Great. Bleed. Uppercut. Fumbled and missed. Great. I think I need to heal. Oh, come on, Kim. Swim round. Defense. Oh, yeah, he lowered my defense a bunch, so he's basically one-hitting me. But, okay. I'm not sure if I was revived with the status effects. All right, we learn new moves. Oh my God, this is terrifying. Did we just beat up a shark? Shark with the human face. Yeah, let's go, Kim. This is so good. I cannot get over how good this game is. Deep, deep down below the depths of the ocean floor is one of the most mysterious and undiscovered parts of the ocean. It houses several unexplainable marine creatures, some of which have evolved, into ter evolved in terrifying ways to adapt to the conditions of the deep sea. However, there is beauty in the deep dark sea as well. The jellyfish, being 95% made out of water, illuminate the depths with their bright colors. Jellyfish don't have brains, lungs, or hearts. Most only live for a few hours. Here in the Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park, we house multiple jellyfish of varying colors. Watch them swim in their individual pillar tanks. For a closer look at their anatomy, we have constructed egg yolk jellyfish statues ten times their original size. No way, they're actually called egg yolk jellyfish. All part of a nutritional aquatic breakfast. Guess we can still crack jokes. Um, Is that an employee? Hold on, what is this room here? It's locked. Okay. Deep Dark Sea is the room we're in now. Oh, thank goodness. You work here, right? Oh dear, are you both okay? Yes, we're okay, but... Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Please just tell us how to get out of here. Maybe like an emergency exit or something? Well, the building seems to be in lockdown. The other exits are shut. The only way out would be the entrance where you came in. We're doomed then. Now, now. We're at the end of the park building right now. Beyond the deep dark sea is the last exhibit, the touch pools. Then past that is the merch store and you'll be back in the lobby. Come on, Kim, just a little bit more. We'll make it out of here, I promise. Okay. Lady, come with us, it's dangerous here. Don't worry about me, dear, I'll be fine. I'll stay here and wait for any other guests. You two go on ahead. Take care, ma'am, we'll see you outside. You two, take care of each other. I don't have a good feeling about her. I don't, I don't know why, something's wrong. The deep dark sea is actually a vibe. Yeah, I guess if we weren't being hunted by monster human fishes, it would would have been a pretty good date. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, I mean, the aquarium is a bit small, but, like, for a local aquarium? It does seem like a fun date. It's locked. 
Um, where's the door? Oh. Same dialogue thing. Blah, 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 blah. Did I miss a... Oh, here. Cop a feel of our various marine animals like the manta rays and horseshoe crabs. Please be gentle when handling the marine life. Remember, they are not toys to play with. Please do not litter in the touch pools. It affects the marine life when you throw your trash into their ecosystem. The audacity of people throwing trash into the homes of these animals. Yeah, I don't think I'm in the mood to empathize with these animals right now. Come on, Theo. Just because some of the aquatic life try to kill you doesn't mean they're all bad. I'm kidding. Let's get out of here, Theo. Well, I'm not convinced these things are just aquatic life. Soft drink. Fire extinguisher. Just wanted to skip out of a lame field trip and now the power's out. Talk about bad luck, huh? Any of you got a SIG? Got a lighter but got nothing to use it for. Smoking isn't cool, dude. It's my life, ain't it? Um, I mean, can we get that as an item? And give it to him and he'll give us something else, maybe? It's locked. I have done one of these touch pulls before. I can't remember what was in it. I think it was like... Maybe like non-stinging jellyfish or some sort of ray with disposable taser. That would probably work for his needs. Let's go give it to him and see. Again, I really love just the overall aesthetics of this game. Like, the presentation is phenomenal. Nope. Okay, we can't give anything to him. That's fine. Or if there is something, I missed it, which is also fine. Okay, well. Another shuttle door, huh? Looks like this one needs an employee access card to open. Maybe we could ask that lady for hers. Oh yeah, she should have hers. So the merch store is closed. Oh. Aw, oh, the manta ray and the horseshoe crab are in love. Wonder what a manta crab would look like. I wonder what that would look like. Received two smelling salts. From the... There's items in here? It's Batrick Star and his family. If Sponge Pod was here, he would just suck this place dry. Right. Okay. What? Yeah, odd word choice there, gamer. Yuck, I don't understand why people would want to feel these slimy fish. Maybe the fish are attacking them and they have no choice but to fight back. Yeah, when is that ever going to happen, right? True. Two soft drinks? I don't know why there's all this stuff in the... touch pools. Wait, this isn't a fish. Cigarette stick. Oh, okay. We can give him something. Three bandage rolls. Good lord, there's so many items in here. Radical. Well, don't really need the slider anymore. Y'all can have it. We don't smoke. Wait, you can try this with your axe. Kim learned something new. Fiery slash. Nice. So we just lit our axe on fire and now we have a fire slash tack. Let's go ahead and preemptively... Build up our stamina here. We want to make sure both of us have plenty. Okay. Alrighty. Oh! Sh okay. I'm still stunned? Moderate kick aiming for the lower limbs. Moderate chance to inflict a stun. Kim is going to...
jellyfish poison sting. Am I poisoned as well? Kim was stunned and poisoned. Great. So I need to... Let's see what I can do here. Wraps up medium wound, recovers 50% HP. First aid would be good, it recovers all my ailments. Should I use a first aid kit? Yeah, that doesn't heal anything. Man, it's tough to get rid of these status effects, to be honest. Low kick again. I think I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I'll stun him. Oh, you- it unstuns me. Okay, that's odd. I'm so confused, but whatever. Moderate kick in. I guess like it zaps me back to normal? I, I don't know. Moderate kick in for the lower limbs. I haven't been able to stun him yet. Please don't stun me. <sighs> I missed. Theo couldn't move. Great. Um, let's do... I want to do a... F I want to hit with the fiery slash. Burning sting? And I'm burned? Okay, good. Seven damage. Low kick, fumble to mist. Okay. Um... Stops bleeding, extinguishes burn. Kim is going to... Let's go for bleed. Poison's gonna be annoying, but it eventually goes away. Good. And bleed stat. Okay, good, good, good. Burning Sting, so I'm burned and poisoned. That's actually terrible. And he's confused. And he's still burned. Good. Let me go ahead and play it safe. Go ahead and heal. Okay, the bleeding stopped, burned has burn has continued, and it's confusion confusion is allowing it to hurt himself. Good. Okay, strategy. Let's do uppercut. I mean sleep would be great if we can actually do that. And then swift swing again. Evasive swim. Oh, it's evasion rose. That's terrifying. We have got to kill him fast. Luckily, we landed both attacks. Knocked out. Oh, he's asleep now. Good. Out cold. 16 damage. Kim fumbled and missed. We both fumbled and missed. That evasiveness move is awful. Um... Same thing. Okay, it missed. 16 damage. He fumbled and missed into his death. Good! Fake out. Pumped up. Cool. Yeah, these sound like Pokemon moves. The hell? What was that thing above us? Or was that thing above us this entire time? 
Wait, where did the lady go? Oh no. Oh. No. She must have dropped this. Let's go, Kim. Access card. Oh god. Okay, we do need to go into the bag and kind of address injuries here. Um, I think that's gonna be okay. We're out of sodas, which is concerning. However, we do have a, a decent amount of healing items. Okay, merch store. Shouldn't be anything out of the ordinary here. Wait a minute. Does the access code open the, the storage room? I just had that thought. I have to check, right? This room, that was locked. No, okay. I just had to check. You never know. Okay, so I imagine that there's going to be another boss fight. It's funny, like, the only thing that hasn't felt like a boss was the first enemy we fought. Everything else has felt like a boss fight. But I could be wrong. The jellyfish definitely felt like a boss fight. Okay. Gauze again. It's empty. There's a picture. Genetics. I was right. I think that's the dad from Hungry Lamu. Wait, it's a key to the toilet? Why does this person have it in their locker? Receive toilet key. Okay, so where do we use the toilet key? Is one of the... Other... Did we come across a bathroom that was locked? One of these? Okay, key from the locker should work. Oh my god, I... These things are so disturbing looking. They're so disturbing. A leatherback sea turtle. Oh god. It reminds me of that... Dreamcast game where the fish had the face. They're so unsettling. Um, cause target to flinch and lowers their attack and defense. Oh, yeah. We're gonna do that. Pumped up. Kim pumps herself up, intensely raises her attack and speed. Oh, yeah. Plus two attack, plus two speed. Good lord. Fake out. Can I use him again? Headbutt on Theo. Fumble to missed. Good. Let's see if I can use them again. Attack rows, speed rows, accuracy rows, evasion rows. Fake out. Good, this is huge. Withdraw. What does that do? Okay, he's starting to... Let's go ahead and do low kick for stun. Swift swing for bleed. Good. Low kick. And he's stunned. Couldn't move. Good. That's what we love to see. We're going to do that. We're going to do that again, but let's do Fiery Slash this time. Good. And he's burned. This is going very well so far. I imagine he's going to use Withdraw again. Manic Cry. That's fine. Attack fell. I don't mind if Theo's attack falls. Uppercut. Um... We'll do Fire Slash again just because it's less... 
Uppercut on Leatherback Sea Turtle. Crit. No burn. Headbutt on Kim, fumbled and missed. Good, minus 30 HP. We love to see it. So we're going to do Uppercut again, and then we're gonna do Fiery Slash because he doesn't have burn anymore. Good. Swim round. Fumbled and missed. That evasion is killing him. Yeah, we, we destroyed the sea turtle. Combat combo and crazy cuts. We just learned. Good. Smelling salt. First aid kit. Soft drink. First aid kit. Smelling salt. Good. So that was needed. However... We only have one soft drink, and... We're kind of running out... Yeah, we are out of stamina items. So I'm not sure, like, what happens when we completely run out of stamina? Can we just not attack anymore? That's what I'm confused about. The bass plushie is actually kind of cute. Sucks that I'm pretty much traumatized by any fish by now. We could use it for exposure therapy. Let's not. Is there anything over here? No. Down here? Nope. Okay. Let's get out of here. I imagine there's going to be a big boss fight, but I barely have any stamina left. The lobby! We made it back! Come on, let's get out of here, Theo. Are we gonna be able to leave? God, this nightmare is finally over. I'm gonna take a good long bath to get rid of that fish smell. <clears throat> yeah. What's up, Kim? Let's go. Don't you feel... watched? What? We're so close, Kim. Let's just get out of here and leave this behind us. We can't leave this behind us if it follows us out here, Theo. Theo? It's the statue. It says goodbye. Oh, instead of welcome. Powerful combo attack, punches and kicks. I think we should use fake out. And then pumped up. Taunting laugh. Okay. We're gonna raise our stats. We're gonna fake out, lower its stats. And I think we're gonna do that again. Yeah, it's gonna keep trying to do that. Plus one evasion. And then we're gonna lower its evasion again. Good. Minus two evasion. So we're, we're, we're doing great, actually. So here's where we're going to do combat combo. Oh, actually. I don't want him to do combat combo. That's too much stamina usage for... He's not going to be doing that much crazy damage. So what we should probably do is try to stun him. Kim is going to use crazy cuts. Come on. Crazy cuts. 52, that's very good. Um, I think I, all I can do is jab. But I'm about to run out of stamina, I think. Tail slap, how much? 23! 55, good. Good. Stunned. Um... How did my stamina increase? Does it increase turn by turn? Let's see. Combat combo. I'm gonna use the first aid kit on Theo, actually. Just because... Why not? Um... Do I have enough? I don't. 
we'll do bleed. It is raising its evasion, which I'm a little afraid of. Good bleed. Um, I'm gonna use fake out again. Oh, we can always guard. I keep forgetting about that. I'm gonna guard. Tail slap on Theo. Yeah, a lot of damage. But we are gonna try to counteract those boosts here. I could use combat combo. Or I could try to put him to sleep. That's risky, but I'm gonna go for it. I don't have enough for crazy cuts. Let's see. Mm. Keep him alive. Okay, couldn't move. Uppercut. Push, push you to sleep. Yes, good. Fake out. Um, we'll guard. So I gain stamina. Lower again. Defense fell. Evasion fell. Good, so we're going to jab, and then we're going to crazy cut here and do an absolute huge amount of damage. 75. Good lord. 214. Beautiful. Ugh. Now it's over. Let's go, Kim. Right behind you, Theo. I am not going for another round of that. The exit is the other way. I want to look around first, though. Aren't you curious? I'm curious. Okay. Hey, the bus! Hurry, Theo, let's go! Wow. What a date. I know you said we didn't need a big celebration for our anniversaries, but you have to admit, that was a pretty big date. Considering we almost died multiple times, I guess it was a pretty big date. Aw. I'm lucky to have you, Kim. I know, Theo. Me too. I really like the way that those two games connected. Um, rather than just being, hey, here's a Lamu reference. Lamu was just a product of, of what is really going on here. One, one man's desire to have this unbelievable breakthrough in, in you know, genetics. He gets this job, and he's upset because, he, you know, he's just, in his mind, he's a great scientific mind that is working a, you know, in, in his opinion, a, a lower-end job um, compared to what he should be doing in his mind. And I guess he decided to take matters into his own hands and use his genetic formula on the employees and the, you know, the, the life there. Uh, Sea Mongrel was awesome, and I actually, I liked Hungry Lamu. I loved Sea Mongrel. I am a Kulu fan now, 100%. I cannot wait to see, um, you know, what's next for this game developer. I almost want a full JRPG horror game in an aquarium. I'm talking about like a 20 hour game. Could you imagine like a full experience like that in an aquarium? I would pay $60 for that in a heartbeat. 
a heartbeat. Um, and this game here is free. So, Kulu, amazing game. You know, the fact that you made something like this and released it for free is unbelievable. And your talent from both a conceptual level or conceptual level and an execution level in terms of thinking, I want to make this a uh, like an earthbound style RPG is is honestly magnificent, very inspiring, and uh, it was an absolute blast for me to play. Guys, thank you for joining me on this adventure. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I'll see you in the next one.